Mike, you're not a game back here will live long in the memories, but from your side of things, how would you assess that match? It was a typical pre-season game. Um, I think there were some good spells from both teams and then some really sloppy spells, but that's to be expected. I think, like I said, the, the main thing for us across the, the first four games is just to, to test ourselves in terms of the condition inside and I think we showcased that again. I think um, we could have been a little bit more aggressive with the players who were coming on. There was a couple of actions where they weren't sprinting, but the team that started, you know, I think they, they, they sort of showed that they were as conditioned as them. Um, obviously, you know, like any pre-season game, there's some good bits of quality and there was, some, there was some good bits of quality, but there was some sloppy bits. Um, so, yeah, just a typical pre-season game. The shower caught us out a little bit. That was a bit interesting uh, with a downpour, and I thought that was a good decision from the ref to uh, to get us inside <laughs> before we got drenched. But, yeah, listen, it was it was one of them. I don't think that the fans will sort of look too much into it. I think it was just a run out for, for, the, t uh, for the players, and, and it was for us to work on some little things as well. Yeah, you talk of not reading too much into it, and it did. It had damped on a little bit, but there were moments in there where Are there elements of kind of what you want to achieve shining through? Yeah, there is. Yeah, we, we we talk about the four phases, and I think there was we've just had a chat with staff in there. There was a couple of phases where I felt we didn't secure it well enough. I think in the first game, when in the transition, we're trying to get the three passes in, and it kept breaking down on pass one or two, which was frustrating. Because when we when we did actually achieve that, then we started to move the ball quickly. Um, Still a lot of work to do in terms of sort of breaking lines and getting key players into the pitch, but you know, listen, they were brave enough to do it against a you know a side which causes you know a lot of problems with the press even in the championship. So you know we had to be brave to try play through, and, and I thought they kept doing that. So we are seeing little things. There's still a long way to go because you know we've got players who are, who are coming into the team as well, and you know that makes it a little bit more difficult. But at least we're bringing quality in, and, and we will we will eventually get there. Yeah, so you still feel we're more in the conditioning stage of pre-season, but how much can we read into things? Are we getting closer to the lineup? Can you see for open day and things like that? Yeah, I think obviously we're adding players as well, so things keep changing slightly, um, but for the better for the club. Um, so yeah, I think we, you know, we'll get the the game against Doncaster out of the way, and then we'll start to have a look at the structure and, and really have a look at what the, the plans look like for each player. Um, and like I say, we first of all we've got to make sure that we uh, we get that first team right on Wheelstone. So um, we'll start to as staff have a look through that and, and maybe have some difficult chats as well. To your debut since today, the centre back pairing, Callum Harry on the right wing. Um, how did you feel they did, and how important is it to get them gelled in? Yeah, just just showed their experience. Um, you know, obviously we're asking them to do something which is slightly different from what they used to. Um, so you know, they've still had to get through that. I think they showed their experience, didn't they? You know, I think Ty, you know, really composed in possession, wins his headers, took a heavy one in the first one on the block, but it's a pre-season game. And he's still blocking it, and then. I thought Cal showed his experience, you know, obviously the one where he's covered and got tie out of trouble and then one in the second half where he stepped in was, was, was tremendous. So that was the first time them two have had minutes this pre-season, so it would be good to, to see them gradually pick up more minutes and, and keep working together. And another new addition today as well, the Yeah, great signing for the club. Um, someone that we that we've had an eye on for a while, and we've been talking, and um, we know that he's had a lot of interest from the football league and the, and the Scottish Prem. But we, uh, well, credit to, to, to Stocky and Lisa and the chairman, sort of you know talking to him and telling him about the plans and everything, and, and getting it over the line. But you know, by the accounts, he was as excited as everybody else. Um, can't wait to get the York City shirt on. But you know, we've got some player there on our hands, and he's just sort of come in and, and just sort of enjoy the game and, and just give everything and I'm pretty sure we'll see his qualities come through. Uh, there's a couple more we're talking about. Um, if, if they come off then brilliant, if they don't, it's, you know, it's not a real issue. Um, you know, we're, like I say, we're always looking to see if anybody will improve the team. We're not just going to go sign players for the sake of it, we've got to fit the model um, and they've got to make sure that they're, uh, they're right for the team. So we, there is a couple of people that we are talking to and if we get them across the line, brilliant, but if not then we think we've got a good enough squad to to go and have a real good go this year.